Hello everyone, this is Mehek from Crafty Minds. Today we are going to work on cherries. So let's get started. I have made these cherries on a plain piece of paper and used pencil color in it. Today I'm going to show you how to draw cherries and then we are going to fill colors in it. So let's see what all materials do we need for this art project. We are going to use pencil colors and I'm going to use uh, oil pastel white color to give the reflection and I'm going to draw using marker. You can also use pencil. So let's start. So we are going to start with the stem first. So for that just make a curve like this little long curve going all the way down then again close to that line close to your curve line we're going to make the same curve going all the way down like this and then we are going to make a smiley line or a curve facing upwards like this and then from here just stretch this line a little bit up and make it a little wiggly just a little bit all the way and down just to me like this now from the other side now we're going to start a little bit down from there and starting from here just make a curve going all the way down here going left side and then same we're going to make another curve close to this line going all the way down like this now we're going to make another curve like a smiley line like this over there now we are going to work on our cherry so for that I'm gonna start with this one so a little bit above this line from here we are going to make a curve or a little bit slanting C I can say that so it's gonna be like this C and then stop then go a little bit up bend this curve little up and down like this and then you can stop here just going to break our drawing and then start from here just imagine that this line is crossing from in there and then going to make another curve and join this okay so that's our one cherry now we're going to make the another one same over here a little bit above this from here going to make another curve if you want you can make a little bigger one this time just a little bend in there and then you can stop and then start again from this side make a curve like this and join this all the way down and join that easy okay now we are going to work on leaf up there first we're gonna make one from this line over here a little bit below this start from here make a curve going down so it's gonna be like a curve going down then over here make a curve going up and join this line so from here going up and join this okay now we are going to make another leaf which is behind these stems so it's going to be from here a little bit down there and just make a curve like this and then again one line over here and then you can just make one line from the center of this curve from here going all the way little down little this curve and just bend it and make it like this and then join these two lines 
and even if you are using a uh, pencil you can just overlap these lines so you can just take this line all the way over here and make it and then later on you can erase inside there so that's easy for you if you want to do that way too so you can just overlap your line that's fine too so now we are going to just make little lines in there same over here just going to make two so we are done with our drawing now we're going to fill colors in this so I'm going to start with green color and I'm going to use two shades this one is yellow green and this one says green so yellow green for the lighter shade and the green for the dark one so on one side I started with light shade that's the yellow green so if you don't have yellow green that's totally fine you can use the dark shade of green and the light shade of green so you can see what all shades you are available with so that's fine or you if you want you can just color one color in there if you wish so see I colored the lighter shade in there now on the other half I'm going to do this green shade which is a little darker same over here so I'm done with my this thing now we are going to color in leaves same I'm going to use light shade first so that's yellow green and yeah in this I'm going to add yellow color too because I want a little bit more shade I just want a little bit shade of yellow in there so first I'm going to cover this little bit with green yellow green now I'm going to take yellow color just color in here and then just overlap that yellow color with green so even still you can see little lighter shade and light yellow reflection from down there and yeah try to be in your one strokes only if you started see I'm, I'm using my strokes and moving my pencil in this curve direction so that's kind of it will make your leaf look smooth and soft so same I'm gonna no I'm using um, dark green color not the dark green but the darker shade it says green so I'm using green over here half of the leaf you can see I did it um, light now down there gonna do a little dark shade and again it's your wish if you want to give the shades in there if you feel like you just want to use one single green color in there you can just color it all green you don't have to give the shades but I'm just gonna show you here how you can do it because using just a green color you just have to green use just the green color in there but if you wish to just use some different shades in there you can try using this then okay so now we're going to do the other one same I'm going to add a little yellow on top of here because that leaf is hiding under this one so over here it's gonna be a little darker shade this one is a little out so we'll add a little light over here so 
that's yellow green going to cover that so all this part which is kind of visible so that's gonna be the lighter shade And now back there going to do green dark green take a shade here and this part too it's gonna be a little dark I'm just gonna have a little bit dark in this area too okay here we go so now we are done with our green shades going to work on cherries now for that I'm using two colors one is um, red orange it says red orange and this one is red and also I'm going to use yellow in there so first I'm going to make a round like this I don't think you can see that so I'm just going to use red for that just like this and we're not going to color in there so we're just going to leave it white so around that around this circle going to just give a little shade of yellow so that's you can do it on both if you want well let's work on one first and then i'm going to use orange red and going to fill all my cherry with this orange red color right, okay so like that and see over here my strokes just go according to your shape of this cherry so it's curved like this And I'm using pencil colors in here. You can use whatever you want to. You can use crayons, paints, watercolor, oil pastels. So it's your wish. So see, that's. So now I have colored all this with orange red. Now I'm going to color again on top of it with red color. Then over here too, all the way. Now just to add a little bit more dark shade on this side, going to use brown color and while adding the brown color over here make sure your hand pressure is really really soft try not to put a lot of pressure while using this color so because this is just to give a little bit of 
kind of dark reflection over there so that's why we are using this brown color so because we don't want our uh, cherry to look brown so this is just to give a little friction there so I'm just going to do a little bit of over here too give a little shade on the top on this side so with very soft hands Again, just going to use red color to blend that brown color over here so yeah here we go so we are almost done with this one and now I'm going to use oil pastel because if I'm going to use white color on top of it it will not show up see I'll show you so it'll it's not that visible that's why I'm using oil pastel for that if you don't have oil pastel what you can do you can use crayons you can use you can try to use that too see so same I'm gonna work on this side so that's going to be orange I'm using orange red all just to cover the first base for my cherry down there now we are going to use red to add a little darker shade in there Now we are going to add brown color for little shadows on this side. And yeah, again, try to use soft hands for adding these shadows. in here to on this side just on top a little bit like this see it's going to have a little bit over here it's so yeah always go with the lighter shade so you can add more dark shade on top of it if you think you need more up there but don't add the darker shade first so then it's really hard to fix and it's easy to fix your lighter shades and see like this and I'm just going to add a little bit of red like to blend this this color the dark color which I added up there brown one so like this see Same on this cherry, I'm adding a little red color just to add more dark shade in there. See, I started with the light and now I'm adding a little more dark because I think we need a little darker shade in here. So like that. So I'm going to give reflection using this white oil pastel just to give a little 
reflection up there now for our shadows down there I'm going to use black color so for that I'm gonna start here this area I'm gonna make it a little dark going to press my pencil little hard over here on the edges of this cherry like this and then around this I'm going to use very soft hand so my shadow looks really light see and go slow you have to make the lines very close so if you go fast your lines will come up like this so you have to go very slow like this then same on the other side over here down there around the edges close to this line gonna make our this shadow look dark see just a little bit dark and then with very soft hand we're going to make it light Right over here too. So here we go. So like this. So and also I'm going to add little little bit of red color in this shadow. Not too much. Just little bit see so that we have kind of the red touch in there in that shadow just not too much just a little bit two or three strokes of that so and just blend that with this black color again So yeah, here we go. So we are done with cherries. Hope you enjoyed working on cherries today. If you like the video, make sure to thumbs up and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.